We will now apply some loads to the model that was created in the previous videos. For simplicity, a limited range of loads will be applied in this video. Let's start by selecting the rafters, and then choosing Distributed Forces from the pop-up menu. Because we want to apply the same load to all of the selected rafter members, we can tick the Apply Loads to the Selected Members as a Group option. This means that we will only have to type the load in once. We will put our dead load into Load Case 1 and specify it as a global inclined load, calculated based on the actual length of the members. The dead load acts downwards, and we therefore apply it as a negative load in the vertical direction. While we have the rafter loads form open, we can also apply the live load. Let's put the live load into load case 2, and specify it as a global projected load, calculated based on the projected length of the members. Again, in the downwards direction. As each load case is created, we can define a load case title that helps to identify it. We can increase the scale of the load diagram by holding down the L key while rotating the mouse scroll wheel. Next, we will input a wind load acting on the left-hand column by selecting the column and again choosing Distributed Forces. We will put the wind load into load case 3 and apply it in the positive global x direction. Note that it doesn't matter if we choose global inclined or global projected in this case because for vertical and horizontal members they are the same. Now let's add the self weight of the model to our dead load case. We can do this by clicking the self weight button on the top toolbar, nominating the load case that we want it added to, and checking that the direction and magnitude of the gravitational acceleration is correct. You will notice that the load cases that contain self weight are now shown with an SW in the load case legend at the top left corner of the screen. Finally, we will define some combination load cases by clicking the Combination Load Cases button on the top toolbar, and then defining the combinations and their multiplying factors. In this case, Load Case 10 is made from the dead load factored by 1.2 plus Live Load factored by 1.5. Load Case 11 is made from dead load factored by 0.9 plus wind load factor by 1.0. This completes the graphical input process. In the next video, we will analyze the model and then examine the results that are produced.